What is up, YouTubers? Matthew Fritz, aka Jew Daddy, aka J Diddy, aka J something, in the house, ready to show you what 120 frames, 120 hertz gaming looks like on a PS5 coupled with a Samsung Q90T. So, we're going to hop right in. Um, if you didn't see my last video, uh, we've got ray tracing disabled. We have 120 hertz refresh rate enabled. So, I'm not playing online against real people. One cool thing about Black Ops Cold War, right off the bat, they have an option for versus bots. So you don't have to set it all up. You can go in and fine tune it if you want and choose custom games, but I'm just gonna hop right into versus bots. And what would be, yeah, we'll keep Moscow. Yeah, let's just, let's just get right in there. I don't know for sure what resolution this is at. I don't know if it's 4K 120. I don't know if it's an upscaled 4K 120. Not sure. All I know is is that it is so effing smooth that it's hard to go back to regular 60 frames. Team deathmatch. Oh man. MTC oh, is just, live. Bring the hammer I, I, down. I I know it's probably not going to come through well, but I just have to tell you guys the way it moves, the smoothness to it, the snappiness, how quick it is, and still how good the resolution looks overall. It's it's very very impressive. Not to mention on the PS5, you've got that awesome awesome controller with the adaptive triggers and the haptic feedback which makes, you know, aiming down sights just feel a little bit more realistic. It adds to the experience. That did not sound good. We're taking control. Um, if anyone's on the fence about trying to find a 120 hertz TV right now. I, I would say if you can find either the LG C9, the LG C10 or the CX, um, or this Samsung Q90. Now, Vizio just came out with an OLED of their own and it does support 4K 120 hertz. I've just been hearing some bad things about the brightness. Um, apparently it does not get that bright in HDR. Um, SDR looks fantastic from what I've heard. Black levels, of course, uh, second to none because it is an OLED. But right now, I would say We're if you could snag one of these televisions, the C9, the C10, or the Samsung Q90. And I think, you know what, the Q80 might support 4K 120, I don't know. But as you can see, the, C the Q90 absolutely does, no matter what you might hear on the internet. We're losing this fight. Gotta say, not a bad setup, right? To have outside on a porch, PS5 with a, a Q90 playing at 4K 120 hertz. What? Oh, see, that's what I get for boasting and bragging. I deserve a shot in the ass. That's exactly what I deserved. Uh, another good thing about this television being so bright and having it outside, um, it does handle reflections really well. It also handles uh, natural light coming in. Handles that very well, as you can see. There's not much reflection. I, I wish YouTube supported um, 120 frames just so people could understand how smooth this is. But you know what? Maybe one day, hopefully ahead. soon, you can experience it for yourself. And if you have any questions, you just let me know. I think what I'm gonna do next is play some uh, Borderlands because that also, wow, that was a quick headshot. That also supports um, 120 hertz, but only at 1080p, so I want to go back and forth between 4K 60 and 1080p 120. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button, maybe even the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Peace out, Girl Scouts.